The iPad Mini 6 is amazing for students, especially as a tablet that can complement your laptop. I know for some people, something like an iPad Pro cannot be a complete laptop replacement and is a little pricey as a secondary device. However, the new iPad Mini has kind of opened up the market for people in this position. When I was at university, I hated taking my heavy MacBook Pro into class for typing in lectures. Across the day, the weight would become noticeable in my backpack. So instead, I began to use the original iPad Pro. But back then, iPad OS and the Apple Pencil 1 were nowhere near as capable as the new redesigned iPads. Of course, the iPad mini is not designed for writing essays for extended hours, but for portable note-taking, it is worth considering. For most students, the Apple Pencil 2 can replace your entire pencil case. It can be every style, color, and type of pen or pencil, along with being a rubber with a simple double tap and a ruler for straight lines and perfect shapes. You can also get ebook copies of most class textbooks, dramatically reducing the weight of your bag. So all you need to take to class is a tiny iPad. Where the iPad mini really shines is reading ebooks. It feels great and light in one hand and reminds me a lot of a Kindle. Using the Apple Pencil, you can highlight text, copy and paste quotes, and add reading notes for future reference. There are lots of different apps that can be used for note taking. Way too many to cover all of them in this video, but my favorites are GoodNotes 5 and Apple Notes. GoodNotes has a great book organization system, letting you segregate each class into its own workbook with different line types and page colors. However, I do enjoy using Apple Notes. It syncs straight up to all of your other Apple devices without setting up an extra accounts, so you can access files instantly on your iPhone, MacBook, or iMac for referencing later on a larger screen. With iPadOS 15, multitasking has definitely become easier to use, and even on this tiny iPad, I was shocked it was usable. For example, you could have Safari open along with notes and quickly highlight and drag text into your notes documents, then annotate it with something important using the Apple Pencil. Incredibly easy. Gone are the days of handwriting out an entire section from a book or copying the teacher's handwriting off the whiteboard. Because in iPadOS 15, you can take photographs of text and copy and paste that text from the image into a document. An interesting way to use the iPad mini is Sidecar, which lets you connect it as a wireless secondary display to your MacBook or iMac. Although it is small, I found it very useful as a dock for my Finder to easily access folders and browse documents. This could definitely be useful for when writing larger end of year essays that have a lot of content to reference. In situations where you do need to type, unlike with larger iPads, the mini does not have a smart connector for attaching a keyboard case. However, you can still use a wireless Bluetooth keyboard and get the same functionality. But when using the basic Apple Folio case, I found the angle to be very comfortable for typing on the screen. The screen keyboard is also smaller than other iPads, and it definitely made typing a lot faster, and the quick type shortcuts for numbers and punctuation assisted with this. Typing on your knee was also possible, so if you're traveling on the train, you can finish off some work. If you want to see my full review of the iPad Mini 6, check out this video next.